Hi, I'm Emma from Holton Lee Libraries and today I'm going to show you how to use a, an empty jar um, to make a pencil pot for around your house. Now, you don't necessarily have to use it for pencils as you can see from my examples here. Okay, so in order to make it, obviously you need an empty jar. And I'm going to use string to decorate my jar. So my previous ones, I used crochet technique and I just created a, a little cover. Um, but I thought I'd do something different because quite a lot of my projects are woolly. So I'm going to use um, some, some twine that I bought quite a while ago and it probably ought to get used. So here is how we're going. Okay, so the first thing we need obviously is our empty jar, which is been cleaned and it's ready for use. And then we're going to get some PVA glue and we're just gonna dollop it onto the jar. You don't have to be neat about this at all. Just gonna slap it on all the way around. Now the nice thing about the PVA glue I'm using is that it will dry obviously clear because it's PVA glue but it'll also be matte it won't be shiny um, which is the look I'm going for but any PVA glue will do the trick so I've got a little border I don't want to do the whole jar because it will start to dry before I get the um, string on so then I'm going to get my string and I am going to I'll try and do it from the front just pop it here at the front this is quite a messy craft but never mind and we're just going to put it all the way around and we're basically just going to start wrapping it right around the jar now on the first instance it's going to be quite tricky but it doesn't really matter if it moves around a bit because you can just splodge it to where it needs to go. So we're just going to wrap it round and round and round. So I've got a few gaps in mine. I don't know if you can see that the window perhaps is in the way and shining light, but you can just squish it up with your fingers so that they are all together. So I'm going to get cracking on this and then I'll show you the finished product. So I'm just on my last little bit here. As you can see, I have managed to get the string all the way down. So I've just got this last little bit to do. It's probably taken me 10 minutes maybe to go around and get the twine on. And then once it's dry, I'm going to embellish it. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a sec. Okay, so I've got my jar and it has dried now. It is a little bit mucky at the top where the, uh, the glue ran but I'm just going to use a baby wipe to uh, get that off. So I'm going to embellish it and I have dug out my box of buttons. I've fallen everywhere. I've got lots and lots of buttons and the hardest thing really about this project is deciding which of my buttons I'm going to use. So I've decided on this orange one and as you can see I have tied uh, a little knot in it and made it look like it's been threaded. So I'm just going to glue that onto my jar. I don't want it to be overly fancy. Obviously, you can do what you like. I might have a look to see if I've got any ribbon upstairs to put around the top as well. So I'm just going to put a big splodge of this clear, strong glue on the back of my button. I'm going to pop it on there. Just hold it for a little bit just to make sure that it sets nicely. And there we have it. And so I'll, uh, I'll show you the finished product with some pens and pencils in it.